Thanks. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm extremely excited about this video. This is my first time doing a like full face of first impression, so I'm really excited. <laughs> it's a really, really big dog. You're not gonna get to play with it by barking at it from the inside, okay? This first item is the Ulla Henriksen Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. It has cocoon butter, acai sterols, and peptides Ooh. in it. Mmm, that smells like an orange sherbet. Mmm. It's kind of thick. I like it. It feels so good. It smells so good. All right. I don't know what the road peptide treatment feels like, but this is nice, and she's really glossy like for no reason okay for our base today i'm going in with the new tarte maracuja juicy glow foundation it's supposed to be medium coverage have a radiant finish blend like a second skin to blur the look of pores it's got hyaluronic acid and super fruit complex for hydrated brighter and smoother looking skin I got the shade 42S Tan Sand, which I think is perfect for me. Um, this packaging is to die for. I'm obsessed with this. This is my favorite color on earth, you know that, plus my skin tone and some gold in there, okay, and some wood, like literally my personality in a package. So this really surprised me at first. I honestly dismissed it as soon as I saw Tarte because they're not known to be like super clean with their ingredients, but this product is really clean. It says it's waterproof, which is dope, long wearing, which is awesome, vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free. This is so thin. I like that it's called a skin tint, but it does say medium coverage. So I hope it does have coverage, but this is so thin. Like I could probably just put this on with my fingers. Skin is looking fantastic. Ooh, wait, this is so pretty with just your fingers. If you don't like the Ilia skin tint, cause I didn't like it, it literally smelled like graham crackers to me and I felt like a grease ball. I would try this one out. Wait a second, that is so gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to try blending it out a little bit with a brush and then putting like a second layer of it on. Oh honey, that is gorgeous. Do a little more, cause I've got these dark spots right here. See if it covers a little. Not really. It is evening the crap out of my skin tone though. It's really pretty. Bare skin, skin tint. Okay, it's less coverage than I thought it would be, but it is such a gorgeous finish. I'm gonna do the other side. It doesn't have a smell to it, which I like. It doesn't have that extra fragrance in it. This just feels so good. Like, I really like putting it in with my fingers. This is giving a shine like um, the Mario, the Makeup by Mario foundation gives. Like, that one is like unreal of a dewiness, and this one's kind of given the same finish. This looks like something I could actually get away with not doing like a full face on top of. Like, I can stop here, brush my eyebrows up, and go about my day, you know? Wow. Color match was on point. This is gorgeous. The next thing I'm gonna use is the new Milk Makeup Sculpt Stick. I got the shade Simmer. If anyone makes fun of my nails, because yes, I've had these and they keep growing out for like the past two months, just shut up. I think this is different than their original ones. I'm pretty sure those are like bronzing sticks. I was never able to use those because they were not dark enough. So I'm glad they came out with actually four more shades and they're cooler tones. So I think they're specifically for sculpting and the other shades you can use for bronzing, even though someone of my complexion and deeper could not use those at all. Ooh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's about to sculpt me out. I'm gonna use a brush that I feel like would do the trick. Okay. Focused it on the outer cheek area. Also, I'm feeling like the Tarte tint is so thin that me adding product right now is like taking off the coverage of my cheek right now. I don't know if you guys can see that. Ignore the enemy outside, he's cutting grass. So if you hear that in the background, enjoy the ambiance. I like this, it blends really well. This is like my third layer of putting it on because I kind of want a little more. Um, but it definitely seems like something you can't really mess up with because it blends out so well, which is also kind of not fantastic if you are a serious makeup girly like me, where you then kind of have to put on lots of layers, but that is so pretty. After the third layer, I'm in love. 
I'm gonna go in for the nose, which I always clean up with concealer, so don't be afraid. This blends out so easy. This is just wild. I'm not mad at her. I don't think I would buy it on my own just because there's like definitely better contouring sticks out there. The size is amazing for traveling and this blending is just gorgeous. It's definitely an item like if you're in a rush, girl, she won't have you looking crazy. Okay, next as my bronzer today, I'm gonna go in with the Say Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. I got the shade Tan Bronze. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm just gonna dip, mm, I'm scared. Let me dip with my finger first. Wow, this is really glossy look at that okay and i'm gonna do higher than my contour this is really like this feels like lip gloss <laughs> i don't think you need a brush with this oh this is low-key like not super dark enough this is so interesting so this is even more so than the milk, like a really like safe product that like you couldn't mess up with. There's not tons of pigment. Um, the finish of it is super natural and glossy and seems like very, very forgiving. Yeah, this is all right. I wouldn't buy this myself to be honest. Okay, next, highlighter. This little guy. This is the Kosas Glow IV Vitamin Infused Skin Enhancer. I got the shade Rose Gold. It's infused with glutathione, vitamin D, and vitamin K. Okay, hold on. Now, what the hell is glutathione? Wellness nu nutrient and antioxidants that defends against visible signs of aging. Okay. This is scary. This is a scary product, though. Sounds amazing. Um, sounds just, like, super beneficial. Official, but I'm gonna show you something right now. So you can basically put this, they say to put this on your face, like all over your face. There we go. I'm just gonna do one pump. They say to put this all over your face, either just like a skin without makeup or mix it in with your foundation. But I'm gonna show y'all something. This is so scary to put all over the face with or without makeup on, like, the glow is gorgeous, but it literally, in person, like, it just, it just looks like a lot of glitter. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not, but it literally, like, in person just looks like glitter. It's pretty crazy. So I'm gonna use this as highlighter, just like a liquid highlighter. I feel like this would be fantastic on, like, your body. Like, the shoulders, the collarbones, maybe the legs, the booty, especially if you're taking photos. I mean, granted, I'm already glowing because all the products are, like, Ooh! whoa yeah it's a little bit more exaggerated of a glow than this side but yeah i'm already glowing because the products that i'm doing a first impression on are already like super glowing products wow this is blinding you don't have to feel bad about putting it on your skin because it's infused with vitamins let's put it on the nose see what it looks like there yeah that's some serious glow i can't imagine this all over my face this is wild but also just in general wow how glowy and hydrated my skin looks. I like this. If you use it as just a highlighter too, this is like a huge bang for your buck. You'll have this thing forever because that is a lot of product. This is really exciting. I freaking love It Cosmetics so much. Like I didn't even get a warning. I didn't even know this was coming out on the market. I didn't know this was a thing. So this is their new Bye Bye Dark Spots Concealer and Serum. You can put this and spot conceal and you can also put it under your eyes. But I do have another concealer that I want to use for under my eyes today. So I'm going to spot conceal with this. But this has 2% niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and caffeine in it, which is why it'd be fantastic under the eyes. With a Dofa applicator, super nice. And then with a brush. Ugh! on the other side. Super, super cute. I really wanna use this under my eyes, but I can't. I gotta hold back. I got another concealer to show you guys. This would definitely come in handy with the skin tint when you still want more coverage in other areas. Probably should have done this before doing my like contour and stuff. That is cool to the touch. It's nice. And let's use this cute little brush here. It's like a perfect density. Ooh. It feels really liquidy, like watery. Ooh, uh, yes, I'm gonna carve out my cheek with this. This feels really good on the skin, like immediately super hydrating. 
I've actually been wanting to get back into using the It Cosmetics CC Cream as foundation. I just miss it. It's just like a really good one. Not that the ones that I have I don't like. It's just like, it's just so good. So I want to go back to it and this would be perfect to do this with it because their other Bye Bye concealer is so full coverage. So this is good for like acne and blemishes and dark circles, anti-aging, literally like all of the above suitable for sensitive skin this is about to be one of my favorite things ever i did get a shade though that is like my skin tone which is amazing so if i wanted to use this under my eyes i would go up a little bit you having fun <laughs> you having fun back there <laughs> dun, 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 dun. the new pillow talk matte beauty blush wand in the shade dream pop you know how people do those like reels and tiktoks where they just opened one of these and it starts seeping through i've heard that these get really 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 messy so they're annoying to travel with which is weird because there is like a twist like you can turn it off and on so i don't know if people just don't do that or if it's still like really messy and the packaging doesn't help i've also heard with her matte ones you have to blend them out pretty quick it's not something you can put on your skin and then wait a second talk not even for like 30 seconds so i'm gonna do one side pat it out with my fingers we're gonna see how it works it makes me think of like strawberry shortcake Mm. Oh, that's gorgeous. Barely needed any, so I'm glad I didn't put too much. That's gorgeous. I'm gonna put a little bit more because I know that I'm gonna put powder on my face, so I don't want it to get doled out from the powder. So I'm actually gonna make it a lot more vibrant than we think I need to. So that way when I put on powder, it still seeps through very strongly. That's something you need to do if you feel like you like wearing cream blush, but then once you like set your face and do the rest of your steps, like it kind of disappears. Just put on a lot of it first if you just want to wear that cream blush. Okay, cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, oof. Oh, she's pretty. I'm really wondering if people just don't twist it off because that's some real bad packaging for how much it is if it still gets messy on you. Now, we're gonna go into concealer. This is the new Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Caring Concealer. So this is their new hydrating, radiant, and correcting creamy concealer. It's hydrating, good for dark circles, good for acne blemishes, medium coverage, so it's not a full coverage concealer. It has plant-based glycerin in there, cappuccino extract, and cornflower complex, which helps decongest and soothe the skin. Okay. You guys, I've been using day in and day out this um, It Cosmetics mini brush as my concealer brush. I've been obsessed with it. So far, I feel the hydration like immediately, so it feels really good. Like it literally feels like I'm putting hyaluronic acid on my under eye, which is really nice. That blended out so quick and easy. Wow, that, ooh, wow, that brightening. That's gorgeous, that is so pretty. Did you guys time that? That literally took like two seconds creasing a little over there already but what concealer doesn't until you oh until you set it this is so pretty no this is gorgeous Ooh, new concealer alert i like her i'm gonna set her real quick i mean this powder is bomb but it works really well with this concealer by the way this peptide lip is still going strong it didn't evaporate off my lips it feels really good Okay, this concealer is a 10 out of freaking 10. That was gorgeous. Holy crap. It, it actually feels like I don't have anything on my under eye. So that's really great. It's super, super thin. So this is what I'm talking about. I set my face now. So the blush has gone down a little bit. Um, and ooh, the glow hasn't though. Okay. And I actually like my blush to kind of hit up here as well. Like with my highlight so we're gonna test it and see if it's good on top of powder it used to be a forbidden rule that you do all of your creams and liquids first and then you do your powders but lately some of my creams go great on top of powder and the formulas are just getting better and better so let's see if this is one of those dun, 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 dun. you know it's still peeking through that glow iv from Kosas is still peeking through. That looks amazing. Skin is looking very much so like perfected skin right now. I'm actually gonna go ahead and test out this guy again too. Um, in person, it did dim down a little bit, so I'm just going to apply a teensy bit on top of the cheekbones again. On this side, you can still really see it, but on 
The other side, it definitely like mattified it out. So I'm gonna apply a little more on the top of my cheek. This isn't as gorgeously sitting on top of the powder. If you look really close, it kind of made it a little patchy, but it does look really gorgeous. I think that's only if you're like really focusing on my face. So just to let you know, this on top of powder, not super great, um, but it does peek through from when we put it on before setting our face anyway, so it's okay. Um, wow, the skin looks so freaking pretty. Both my eyelashes are curled and ready to apply mascara. This is the Gwen Stefani Give Can't Stop Staring Mascara. I'm obsessed with this packaging. It screams Gwen Stefani. It's so cute. This applicator is so interesting immediately reminds me of benefit their real mascara um also reminds me of something else anyways yeah so it seems like it should be super separating i have tried this out before so this isn't technically a first impression and i have to tell you i didn't like it i thought it was so clumpy but i got so many compliments so i was so confused so let's try it again i can like feel it combing through my lashes that's nice okay well, I don't know if the first time I tried this, it was on one, but this is showing to be extremely separating. So the way that it's like actually combing through my lashes, that's so satisfying. These are my lashes with the mascara and without. This mascara showed me. I swear the first time it was like insanely clumpy. Oh, I love when that happens and it just hooks into my curl. That is a really pretty eyelash. This ball tip is actually really nice. It's like the same thing, I can feel it. I can literally feel it combing through my lashes and applying more mascara. This is really beautiful. And I'm pleased to say also, my eyes are not stinging. I uh, am sensitive everywhere. And lately my eyes have even been like really stinging when I put on certain mascara. So I have to be careful with mascaras as well and their ingredients. And right now my eyes are seemingly totally fine. So this might be a new mascara I can add to the collection. This is like the most satisfying mascara I've ever had to put on. It really, really combs through my lashes. Look at that separation. What? And it's not too wet, it's not too dry. We love that, so it doesn't need tons of cleanup. Two more steps. I got this lip called Slip. It's the signature lip lightweight lipstick from Merit. It's a really cute beige color. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, very, very, very sheer. Okay. Is there something there? Okay, there's a little something there that it took at least 15 swipes. It's cute. I don't know. I wouldn't grab for this because it, it's like giving nothing. Like it altered my lip color a little bit, but it's like giving nothing. I need to talk to someone about this. The last item is the very new Milk Pore Eclipse Mattifying Spray. I have moved away from setting sprays as a whole in a while because they all have like such bad things in their ingredients for your skin. Um, but Milk is a very clean brand. And so if there's any setting sprays I would use, it would be Milk's. I got really excited to see this in my gratis. So I'm going to use it today. Though we did a lot of glowing. Okay, if you want to tame it a little bit, you'd spray this guy. And um, even though I love to glow, I just want to try her out. Oh, it's supposed to blur your skin a little bit too. It's good for your pores. It's alcohol free. It's supposed to lock on makeup for up to 16 hours, control shine, and help smooth skin texture. Okay, so it does a lot. It's oil-free and alcohol-free. It doesn't claim to like mattify your skin, which I really like. Just control the oil, which I love to hear. So. Mm. Oh, that smells delightful. Mm. She's smelling it. <laughs> Okay, well, we have come to the end of this super cute, glowing, um, like my skin, but way better tutorial. This like knocked it out of the park because I only kind of disliked two products, which is really awesome. I don't necessarily dislike the lip, okay? It just took a lot of swipes, 
I can definitely see that there's color there, but like it just took a lot of swipes, but it's cute. It's really cute. I wonder what it looked like on more fair skin that the specific shade called slip. And then the say bronzer again, I just, it's not something I've seen myself reaching for at all. Let's take a closer look at my entire face. If this curl wants to get out of my eyeball lashes, I love Let's look at the concealer. It's creasing a little bit already. Um, so that's unfortunate, but I really do like the concealer. Skin tint definitely is medium coverage because you can see my dark spots under all the products that were put there. But since they were cream, it just looks like skin. It still looks gorgeous and it just brings a more like realistic vibe to my face too. I feel like I just feel fresh right now. Like I don't feel like I have a lot of makeup on. I don't feel greasy from all the cream products I put on. I especially feel extra refreshed because of the setting spray. Like I feel really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is really new for me and super fun. So I'll definitely keep doing these if you want them. So like this video, comment down below which one of these products that you felt like looked really good and that you maybe want to try. Or if you know about any of these products and you have them yourselves, leave me your own little review down below. Start a conversation with me. And of course, do not forget to subscribe so that you don't miss my next one, my next Sephora haul, my next giveaway, my next vlog, my next everything, okay? I'm a lot of things. And you can see that in my website linked down below as well. I love you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.